Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and today we are going to learn all about removing dynamic rows from form arrays. In the past three episodes, we have learned about form arrays, how to create a form array in a reactive form, how to add, um, how to get various attributes of the array, how to add new elements to the array dynamically. Today we are going to learn remove dynamic forms from the form array. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I'm here to share my knowledge with you. I bring over 10 years of experience on modern web technologies. I'm also here to learn from you. So during the course of this code samples, examples or walkthrough, if you have any doubts or any queries, feel free to ask me. I will be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So please support me and encourage me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you in advance. This is part of Angular 9 full tutorial playlist. Now we have close to around 50 to 50 plus tutorials in Angular 9 from basic introduction to the complex uh, pieces with live examples and complete detailed explanations. So the playlist is in the description box below. Please do check it out. All right, so this is the last um, of the series on Angular forms. Um, we have covered different things like radio button checkbox in the uh, all these tutorials. So I've removed those. But if you need some certain uh, help on those aspects, just drop in in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. So today's episode is a continuation, which means that we in the previous episodes, we have learned about form array in tutorial 51. We learned about the attributes of the array in 52. And in the last episode, we learned about um, how to add dynamically the dynamic rows to the form array. That's for tutorial 53. So please make sure that um, you have seen all these three tutorials in order to have a continuation to the learning. The playlist is again in the description box. So make sure you check it out. All right. So removing rows dynamically from the form. Right. So we will have use cases where we want to remove um, certain rows dynamically. Like I said, when we work with reactive forms, the, the example use cases will be little complex. You will have requirement to add. You will also have the requirement to remove the same rows dynamically from your form. And this can happen multiple times. For example, the user can add um, more than one uh, dynamic form, you might want to remove it, you might want to disable it. So there are multiple permutation combinations that we can do with dynamic adding and removing combination. Now remember, whenever we work with remove rows, right? Uh, the important thing here is uh, the index. That means you have to identify that particular row individually, Id identifiably as a unique row. That's when you can do it. In JavaScript, we use IDs, right? So that you can dynamically, um, we can identify that particular row which we are trying to remove. Now we can use ng-force index at method and we can easily point to the index that we want to remove. So that's an array piece that we can say we'll pass an ID using index. And in the in the, our component class, we will write array dot index at method and we can capture and remove it from that particular location. Let's see that in action. So this is a sample code that I've given. So here uh, you have uh, will implement a remove item and then we'll in the template we'll write that uh, the event. Let's get started. All right, so we added add button. Now I'm going to add one more. And here this is what I'm going to call it as remove. So it doesn't make sense to have remove in one go, right? So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this here and add a link uh, and we are going to use router link and we are going to us bind a event and say remove item this is the method right so let's first see how this looks like so we need to define a dummy method so i'm just throwing in now just to check that it was clicked remove item clicked okay now let's go to our application so we see we have a remove item for that element and we are going to go to console 
and we'll click on that just to see that remove item clicked. It will not do anything now because we don't have logic yet. But we know that it's clicking and it's going to the console and logging that message. Now we need to pass the ID. And here if you see we are using let i is equal to index you on the ng4. Right? So let's print that ID and say i. Now let's capture that ID here and say and let's console log that also. So the idea first is to validate that you're getting the correct values and then grow on top of it. All right, so I'll click on remove item. I should see one. Oh, it's zero because the index is zero, which makes sense, right? So now what we need to do, now that we know that it's getting the index is getting captured, let's get this dot items because that's what we set it in the previous episode. We are writing a get items, right? Which is returning a form array of items. So this dot items dot. Now we can do a remove, right? Or um, we can say dot. Um, how do we remove it? We'll say push pop, right? Those are the values that we can use. So um, let me see. Okay, array dot remove at item index. Now this is the item that you'll remove. So we'll say remove item ID. So what this will do now, whenever you click, it will remove at item this. Let's see. Now I'll click on this remove. So it removed it from the element, right? And similarly add row, it added, it added add row three, four, five, right? So now I have five dynamic rows that I've added. I want to remove the second one. So click on this. It got removed. Now see, you don't have two. Now click on three, it three got removed. I'm going to enter some value just to make sure to test that it's removing the correct one. So if I click on four, it should remove the four, which is gone. Similarly, right now you remove five, it goes away. So that's that's how simple it is um, to add or remove elements from form array. Initially, you might have thought that form arrays are tricky, they are complex, but they are not. Once you know the basics, it becomes very, very easy. It becomes much easier to dynamically handle all of it. Um, the like addition or removing of elements, taking the entire forms, detail in one go. That's the beauty of it and that's how it makes it powerful. Go ahead. I want you to try this out and let me know if you face any queries, any issues in using it. Um, uh, yeah, so go ahead, try this out. Let me know um, if you have any doubts. I'll be happy to help you. Starting next tutorial onwards, uh, we are going to start focusing on Angular HTTP. Now, this is the last of the series um, of where we will be learning about Angular. After that, we'll start building application. I am going to start building some live application for you. In the Angular HTTP, we are going to learn about observable services, dependency injection. We are going to learn about the CRUD operations like create, read, update, delete using various HTTP methods like get, post, put, delete. All that we'll do with some live examples and practical. Uh, it's going to be fun, so don't miss out on those. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Uh, please do share this uh, playlist with your friends who wants to learn and master Angular 9. This will certainly help everybody. Do let me know your feedback, how I'm doing, uh, how you want things to change. Uh, if there is anything I can improve, if there is anything that you want me to cover, I'll be happy to do that. The best way to learn is go back, start seeing the code that I've written and then start copying it in a sense that start typing it. If you see any errors, let me know. The idea is to get this working. Once you start putting things together, you'll have your application up and running in no time. Thank you so much for joining today. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, and we will also learn about uh, RxJS. A lot of you have been requesting me for RxJS and testing, uh, Angular testing. So that is something that I want to definitely cover after HTTP. Uh, and I will also start some parallel tracks where we learn Angular HTTP, Angular testing and live project all simultaneously in the coming week, in the coming days. Uh, 
so that's something that I've already planned. Uh, watch out for it. Do let me know how I'm performing. If you want something to change, if you want something to improve, I will be happy to do that. Thank you so much again for joining today. See you in the next episode where we start Angular HTTP series. Thank you so much.